I'm currently studying my fourth language, which is Polish, a really tough one. But the interesting thing is, is that the way I study Polish is so different from the way that I studied my previous languages. And the reason, of course, is all of these new AI apps and technologies that we've got access to. The interesting thing is that there are really two technologies that I'm using a lot. And what I want to do in this video is to take you through those technologies and show you exactly how I use them. Now, I've picked these technologies for basically three reasons. One, they've got a free option. Two, they're really useful to both teachers and students. And thirdly, because they cover multiple languages. So you can use them for learning English, but you can also use them for learning Polish and French and Spanish and German, etc. So let's get started. And don't forget, of course, to like the video, to comment on the video, to share the video, and most of all, to join me on my YouTube channel. So this first technology would be super useful to both teachers and students, and it's called turboscribe.ai. If I click here and open it, and just very quickly clicked on an example, what it does is it extracts the whole of the transcript, basically from any video. Now I tend to use videos from YouTube. It gives me the transcript. It also gives me, interestingly, the audio. So it extracts the audio from the video as well. We can just play it just for a couple of seconds. What is the first thing you do when you go into a supermarket? Okay, and I really like this, the fact that it kind of highlights the word. So you can get the transcript from any video that you want, but of course it allows you to do many things with that transcript after. The first thing, of course, that it would allow you to do is to translate it into another language. So if I click here, I can click and just choose another language. So for example, from English to Polish, and now I have the transcription of the video or of the transcript. Another really useful thing that you can do straight away is you are actually able to download the audio. Okay, so you literally put in a link to a YouTube video and it extracts the whole of the transcript and it also allows you to download the audio. Now in a minute, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but I'm also gonna show you lots of ideas of how I use this system. I've been a teacher for 38 years and also a language learner on my fourth language. So I'm gonna just show you some of the ideas of how I use this to study. So let's jump over to YouTube and grab a video. So all I need to do is copy the link of any video. It will do a video of up to 30 minutes, then come back to TurboScribe, click on the home page, and then click on transcribe file. Click here to add in the link. So you need to do that. Click on import, and you normally have to wait a few seconds while it brings in the video, and then it's very simple after that. So just wait a few seconds. Very quickly, the video is ready. Now all I need to do is set it to whale, and I normally choose, uh, obviously I need this to be in English. This works in multiple languages. I use this for Polish, for French, for Spanish, but I'm gonna do this one in English. And the other thing obviously is to choose whale, and then click on transcribe. And that quickly, it will begin now to analyze the video analyze the audio and bring in the transcript. Now what I'm gonna do is show you some great ideas of ways that you can work with that transcript. So we've now got the transcript and if I click here, you can see I've got the whole of the transcript and I can even scroll through that transcript. There it is. And I can play it. So if I click here, I can play it. Hi Bob the Canadian here in this English lesson. I Really hope you like the video so far. And if you do, please click on the like button because it really helps me. This really is a useful technology because the thing is I can now use that transcript to generate all types of content because TurboScribe links to other technologies like Google Translate, like ChatGPT, 
like Google Gemini, so I can generate comprehension questions and lists of vocabulary and gap fill activities and comprehension questions and true and false questions and collocations, etc. So I can really work with that transcript and I can study it and then go back and watch the video again. And I'll do this several times so that slowly I understand more and more about the video. So let me show you now exactly what I do. And I'm going to start by showing you some great features features in Google Translate. Now you can copy text. So if I, for example, decide I want to copy this, I can literally just copy that by holding down my mouse. And now I could right click, copy that text. I could go over to Google Translate. Let's imagine, for example, that I'm Spanish. And I could paste that in and get the translation immediately and I could save that. I don't know if you know, but you can actually save your words. So if you click here, you can save your words. Now to see your saved words, just click here and they'll come up on the right hand side. And you can see that I'm using this all the time to study Polish. You can scroll down and you can see lots of examples. If you want to delete a word, you just click here. Notice also with your saved words that you can go through them. So if I wanted to scroll down and say, OK, let's go through this one, play it again. Nie wiem, do jakiego stopnia jest użyteczne. Or click on this one. Ale nie nadaje się. OK, so really useful. And another little tip, if you want to, you can delete them all, all the words, by just clicking on clear all saved. OK, now a couple more things. If we come back here, the really powerful stuff in TurboScribe is that, see, you can link this to tools like Google Gemini and ChatGPT if you want to generate listening comprehension questions and vocabulary lists, etc. And I'm going to show you that now. So I love that feature, that ability to be able to study the vocabulary from the transcript and then study the words and then maybe go back and watch the video again. This is exactly what I do. Now, actually, Google Translate has some really interesting features and I've already made a video about how Google Translate works and the magic button that's in Google Translate. And if you don't know about the magic button, watch this video. It's great for language learners and it's already been played more than 100,000 times. I'm now going to show you some of my favorite tricks using TurboScribe. Now, the incredible thing is if you come over here, you can click on download the whole of the transcript. I just want to click here and download that transcript. And there it is completely downloaded. And what I can do now is if I go to my downloads, so if I click here and come to my downloads, you'll see that that transcript is there. Now, this is really clever. I'm going to use Google Gemini, but you could do this also working with ChatGPT or any large language model. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Google Gemini. So I'm going to click here in your apps. You've got Google Gemini. Click here. Now you can upload the upload files, upload that text. So go to your downloads, click here. And now you can make all sorts of things. For example, can you extract, let's say, eight keywords from the text that I might need to learn to understand it? OK, and it's going to give me those words. OK, look at that order, phrase, pizza. OK, now again, this could be we, we, in, done in multiple languages. Now, let's try another thing. Let's say, can you make eight comprehension questions based on the transcript and it's now going to make eight comprehension questions for me you could also ask for the answers of course now i'm going to say can you provide a summary of the transcript and it will do that as well and i can basically now get it to generate all sorts of language learning content that i can work with using 
either Google Gemini or ChatGPT or many of the tools. And of course, I would just be able to copy. When you generate co content, for example, just to show you here on the screen, you know, if I come up here, I can click on this button here to copy anything, you know, copy response, and it will copy any of the different activities that I want. Now, there's actually even a better way of working, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute, uh, and that's working with Google Canvas. But this is the way that I build up and generate all sorts of learning content around the transcript, and this is perfect both for teachers and students. Okay, really hope you like TurboScribe. If you want to know the second technology that I'm using, it's called Ed Cafe, and I'm going to put a video on the screen now that you can watch all about Ed Cafe. Or if you go to the description in YouTube, you can also access it. Now, if you want more free videos, then come over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. Absolutely loads of different uh, videos to help both language students and language teachers use technology to help them. If you're a teacher and you want to learn more, then I highly recommend my newsletter. It's very popular. There's about 10,000 teachers signed up. And if you sign up to the newsletter, you will actually get a free 14 part course where I highlight some of the best technologies that you can use in teaching and learning. And one final thing, if you're a teacher and you want to have training with me, I do have Patreon. And as part of Patreon, you can meet me online once a month in a Zoom session where we look at technologies together as a group, test them out and try them and talk about how we might use them in the classroom. Really hope you've liked today's video. I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find useful. Thank you very much.